Hi guys, some of you have been asking what sort of uh, CB do I um, have in the car and also how do I set it up. So as I was getting prepared for a trip out tomorrow I thought I'd show you. Um, so the CB itself is a, um, a CRT SS 9900 which is more than what the average um, user would want. Um, this is actually a multi-mode, it does actually go on to the hand bands of 10 meters, uh, which I am a licensed ham operator before anyone starts shouting. Um, but you don't need anything as elaborate as this, but I'm just showing you the radio that I use. Now, this is on a most bizarre looking wooden structure, and all be will become clear in a moment. Um, there's also a three way. A cigarette lighter port with USBs on the front and the side so that means that I can just plug one USB plug into the vehicle and then I've got some others if I need them it's more the USBs I need um, other rather than these so let me just show you how it all goes in the car so excuse the junk in here but um, as you can see so there's the um, coax that plugs into the back of the CB and that basically runs down there. I've got it underneath there, it goes through there. This was tucked neatly underneath here. I don't carry many passengers these days, so it doesn't really matter, but I, it can just tuck underneath there. And then terminates here. So uh, what we do then, we got a little mini stinger and I must say these are an absolutely useless aerial um, but they're ideal if you're in convoy on a green lane and you probably no more than a quarter of a mile um, away from each other plus they're short and very very bendy and you can hit low trees with them without any issue um, so this coax would normally thread the other side of that strut down there normally feed that up through there properly and then we connect it together here so nothing is like a permanent fixture so to speak um, and I prefer it that way so it can all be removed really quickly I certainly don't want to be leaving a radio in the car so the reason for that odd shape piece of wood, as you can see it's not perfect, but I basically cut it the shape to go into here. Um, the duster isn't the perfect place to actually mount a CB, so I used a couple of bits of cardboard, I got a rough sort of shape, put it here, and I can promise you that has never ever moved, so it's not bolted down or anything. Um, it can't go forward, it can't come out and it can sort of you know it could jump up but it's not going to go anywhere and i've been through some really rough terrain that does not move and i'm sure someone could do a much neater job than what i can but again it was just a temporary thing so what we'll do we'll uh so we plug this into the cigarette lighter it's also got a, an on and off switch and a handy little voltmeter on there so it's quite handy. So that's on. We switch the CB radio on. And uh, there we have it. Um, Nest 19 is still the calling channel. Uh, this has got an auto squelch on it, so um, which is quite handy. And there's absolutely nobody on there, which is uh, only to be expected with that small, tiny aerial in the middle of a housing estate. But... Um, Anyway, that is how I mount my CB up. Obviously, you've got the uh, uh, microphone clip there, which is quite handy. Uh, I normally go in a USB here to then feed to the phone. And there's a couple more if I need them, um, which um, it could be charging up a GoPro battery or whatever. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that useful. And like I say, that can all just be taken out really quickly and, um, and hidden away. So nothing is, is properly fixed. 
and I'd love to know what other ideas you have. I must admit, I will just tell you, my car has got the overhead storage. And I always used to have, um, I had a little, little small Midland CV. And I used to actually have it up here. So the aerial cable would come from the back. And so did the power from the socket in the back. Again, we weren't taking any passengers. And I used to have it here. Uh, which was okay, but uh, the microphone used to rattle around a bit quite up there, but here um, I can actually see the set and then the beauty is if I take my uh, other larger aerial with me and We finish the day's laning and I want to use a bit of amateur radio on the 10 meter band I can just swap the aerial over and do it that way um, so anyway, I hope that uh, that's answered a few questions of how I fit the CB in the car.